Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I am going to do a step-by-step -step, and I mean a step-by-step -step tutorial how to do the Galantine purse. I am going to do it from the very beginning to the very end. I will also include chapters in the video. So if there's a section that you're already familiar with, you can just hit fast forward and move on because I know the video will be pretty long. Um, the other thing I want to mention is before I get started, I closed Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go through this way so I can show you exactly how to get the purse on Cricut Design Space. So if you were in my video, you would click descriptions and then you would select, you would click on show more and it says Galantine Purse SVG can be found below. You're going to click that link and then agree. And then since I already own it, I'm just going to open. And it'll take me directly to the purse. So now what I'm going to do is just click I agree and open in app. And sometimes it can take a few, I don't know, a minute or so. It just depends on how slow your cricket is, your internet. So it can take just a little bit. Okay, now you can either click make it or edit, and but I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit a copy. And then again, it'll take, I don't know, like a minute or so to load depending on your internet. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to, go to this image and X out. And that is because I, I don't want to do that in the project that I'm doing. And so I wanted to get rid of that. And I'm going to also get rid of um, the card and the dots. Okay, delete. And then I am going to hit select all. And I am going to change the dimensions to just something a little bit smaller. So let's see, I think that looks like a good size. Be cute and dainty. Okay, then I wanted to show you um, this image right here. You can see that it is scored and you really shouldn't have any trouble with um, having the images already scored. So I won't walk through all that. Um, because every time I've pulled it up, it's already been, you know, scored and I've never had an issue with it. Okay. Um, and then what you wanted to, what you want to do is first you need to figure out what color card stock you're going to use. Um, so in my case, uh, this time I'm going to do a gold, um, for the buckles. So here, this is a buckle. So I'll keep that as yellow and then I'm going to do like a, I'm just looking at the cardstock. I think I'm going to do like a white purse and then have um, a white and gold pattern. So what I'm going to do just to make it easier for me is, um, and this is a little time consuming, but um, it just makes it easier for me. Back, sorry, I did the wrong one. Okay. We're going to click on this one. Okay, so then we're going to click here and I'm going to change this to white. Okay, so I know that when I hit make it, it'll just be easier for me to follow that. Let's click here. Okay, it's right there. And white. And white and let's see what else okay so I'm going to move this is the pocket so if you want the pocket to be like a different color other than white like if you want it to match the outside of your purse you could change that which I may go back and do that um, let me go here and I'm going to click on this one and change it to white okay so that's white this is the bottom of the purse um, and when I say the bottom of the purse, that bottom of the outside of the purse, this right here is the liner. 
So let's go ahead and change. Sometimes it gets tricky, so you just have to make sure that you're clicking. Okay, where is this? Okay, that should be this one. Okay, okay. Let's change that to white and no. Well, I do need to change that one. So let's move that back a bit. And let's get rid of, and we're gonna ungroup this. And I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Okay, so let's do this one and we'll have to ungroup it as well. And I'm gonna change this to white. Let me find that on here at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna change this to white. Okay, and then let's just double check and see if I have, and then also this has to be white as well. This is the strap of the purse. And let's do, okay, so now I'm gonna hit save. I just, I like to periodically hit save. Okay, and, um, Next, we need to do these as well. So we are going to ungroup it, and I'm going to change that to white, and then ungroup. And what I'm going to do is just delete that, and then just hit this three more times, because it will save me time than having to um, un ungroup. And let's just delete that one, pull this over, ungroup and delete that. Okay, so I remember I deleted all those because I, I did duplicate on the first white one. So I have four. Okay, so now um, we're going to do um, this. Let's move this aside. And this I'm gonna do like a white and a gold. So I'm gonna just put it at a different shade of yellow so I know. And then this is the bottom of the purse, the liner on the inside. Is that the same color? Yes. And and then what you can do too, just because it is a lot to change, um, is you can just take this and hit duplicate. Okay, so now we have two of those. And then when you scroll down here, you can just delete that. And then I'm going to ungroup this. And I like to get rid of the Galantine, so I'm going to delete that as well. Then we're gonna go back here to this part and that's the flap of the purse. Yellow and then duplicate. And then I'm gonna find the extra one up here and just hit delete. Okay, so let's see here if I have everything. Okay. Um, this right here is, um, this is where you apply um, the buckle to this, so I'm going to do gold. So let's match, let's see what color this is. I'm gonna match that color. Is that the same? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is hit duplicate three times because we have four of those. So that's gonna be gold as well. And let's go to here, delete, delete. And is there another one? Um, this one we did not change, so we need to change that one. We're trying to find this one. Sometimes it can be tricky. So I will go ahead and go up here. And I'll just duplicate this one because it's the exact same flap. Okay, and then we'll delete this. Okay, so this is on the outside of the purse and you can write like, you know, Galantine or Coach or whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna change this to gold. Um, and that we did, that is yellow. And then this um, is, you can do any color for that. I think I'm going to stick with um, white. And let's just double check and make sure. Oh, also, this is the zipper. So we need to ungroup it. And this is the um, ungroup. This is the zipper. This is, I'm gonna keep as white. And then this, I'm going to change to the gold. So the background is, um, that's the gold. 
And did I do that? I did yellow here. That is not yellow, that is gold. Okay, so let's just double check and make sure I did everything correctly. And I'm just going to do these last because it'll just um, confuse me. Let's hit uh, groups gone and dun dun dun. Where's the other one? And the last one. Okay, so now I will hit save again. Okay, so I'm going to get paper from here and I'm going to get two pieces of the white cardstock. Let's go ahead and tear it out. Okay. And I'm using fabric grip matte and it's not super clean so it's sticky but it's not so obsessively sticky that the paper will mold to it when when taking it off because um, you want the paper to stick but you don't want it to um you know i don't know if you guys like when you've ever like pulled it off before it just kind of like bends we don't want that so I'm going to go ahead and put scotch tape in for the corner. And that's just to secure the paper so it doesn't move back and forth while it's cutting. Okay. Okay, so I have the mat lined up here and I'm just gonna press the flashing um, arrow to go ahead and pull the um, mat in. And then we have to change the tool to a scoring tool. And if you can see here, that is number um, 01, and that's just the basic single scoring, just a scoring tool. Go ahead, put that in. And then I'm going to click the C for Cricut. Okay, so just finished with the scoring and on the Cricut screen it says load fine point blade. So we'll go ahead and place this in here and then close it. And then we're going to hit the flashing Cricut and that will complete um, that, um, the cutting. And then we'll go ahead, pull it out and put the next paper in. Okay, so just finished um, cutting and what we're going to do, let me show you how I take it off the paper, off the mat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just very carefully uh, take this tape off and just kind of set it aside because you can just reuse that for the next piece. So take this off. I turn it upside down and I'm trying to do this to show you but I'm right-handed so I'm using my left <laughs> so it may look a little difficult for me because I'm not left-handed but you just basically uh, peel this off of the mat and you do that one as well okay so now that that is done we just kind of like here if you can see the paper is still stuck you can just wiggle it back and forth and it should come right off. And if you get like any strays like that, uh, you can just take scissors and just kind of cut that. And we'll go ahead and do the same here. And just take it all off. Okay, so there's this little strand there. Just cut it. Okay, so. And I think it would have come off fine, but I'm doing everything left handed, so let's see. Okay, so right now we have, um, well, actually, let's do this. Let's set this apart aside because we have one more um, sheet of white 
that will go with this. So let's go ahead and grab the other mat and the other white paper. We're going to add it to the mat and go ahead, grab the tape that we used before so we don't waste. I try to use it as much as I can, and then once it's like, you know, then you just move on to a new piece. Okay, so now we will place, it, place this in here and hit the arrow. Okay, on Cricut Design Space, you'll see that it says to load the single scoring wheel. So we're gonna go ahead, take this out, put this in. Close it and then do that. And then I'm going to hit the Cricut. Okay, so it just finished scoring. And we're gonna go ahead and put the fine point tool back in. And hit the Cricut again to cut. Okay, so we're going to hit, this just finished cutting. We're gonna hit the flashing first arrow and then take, remove the tape. Side. Okay, and I'm going to turn it upside down and get the remaining white pieces. Okay, so right now we have all the pieces um, for the outside of the purse. So these two are um, the outside of the purse. And we have the two flaps that would go here. Okay, so we have both of these. And we have, this is, these two match, just like those match each other. These are to the side of the purse, like the short side of the purse. This is the bottom of the purse. And these are the two straps. And then we have four of these that you'll see that we put this inside the buckle. And we have these two. Okay, so what we're gonna do is set this aside. And now what we're going to do is print for, or not print, we're going to cut the pieces that, um, if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, sometimes it's hard to see the scoring, but you can see like the scoring here and in the middle and then right here. We are, will now go ahead and um, cut the decorative cardstock to place on top of there. Okay, so this is the cardstock that I'm going to use. And I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna pick this one. So I need two, um, sheets of that and that was striped. Let's see where stripe is. It's probably the, yep, it's the first thing. <laughs> okay, so let's open this and I am going to um, pull this up. Okay, put this away. Okay, now we will get the mat back and do the exact same thing that we did before. Um, but actually you need to pay attention if you want to have the stripes going um, uh, vertical or horizontal. And I think I want to do mine. Oh goodness, that's a good question. Let's see. I think I'm going to do mine uh, vertical. So you just need to pay attention that you do that with the other. Unless that's the style that you're looking for where it's just different. Okay open this again and get the tape. So we're going to go ahead and tape this back on the four corners. And okay, so if you see here, this is the bottom liner of the purse. And so if I want the verticals to go the same way as the pocket and then the side, I would have to drag this up here and make it um, you know, turn the shape of it.
but I really don't care because it's on the inside of the purse and I think it would kind of add some character so I'm going to leave it as is. Um, really quick too, something else to pay attention to is this paper is a different texture. It says that it's cardstock with, with gold foil. So I am going to want to hit cancel and let me show you. Okay, so see it's ready to print or to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel, cancel cut. And then I'm going to hit continue Okay, and this will pop back up the material. I'm going to click browse and then I'm going to type in card stock and we will look for one that, let me read what it says again. It says card stock with gold foil. So we're looking for a card stock with foil. Um, let's see, let's see, which one would this be? Okay, right here, deluxe paper foil embossed. Okay, so to me, that seems um, one that this would probably be similar to. So I'm going to click here, and I'm sorry, I hit favorite, and it, it, I already have all my favorites. Um, I have enough favorites, so <laughs> they won't let me favorite it. Okay, so see, there's a check mark. Now I'm going to select done, and then we're gonna have to score this as well. So um, we'll go ahead, and I won't show you that again. We're just repeating the same steps as before with um, changing the tool with this to the single scoring and then back to the, um, the fine uh, point one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I loaded the mat and then I did change the pressure to more. Um, I just like to do that to be safe. And then I'm gonna hit the Cricut button and it's gonna score. <laughs> Okay, so it just finished scoring and cutting. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape. Just gonna place it on here. Just go around. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this upside down and then just kind of pull it off. And then we're gonna just wiggle it out. So, so just back and forth. If it's stuck, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Here, just, just wiggle it. Here, this part we can just tear, okay. And I always do the easy parts first. You can pull it too if you want, just be careful. Okay. And it's pretty much, it pretty much does a really good job. It's just sometimes there's just a little spot, which um, is fine. Okay, and then let's do this. I'll cut that off later. Let's see, let's just get moving. And same with this one. Let's see. Okay, so this one just finished. And I'm gonna go ahead, take the tape off. Okay, so all we have left to cut is the um, the buckles, and but I, I what I want to do is just kind of show you, um, so you understand, um, you know what we just cut because I know when I first started doing it, it's so overwhelming. Um, but just so you can kind of visualize it, I think this might help. So this piece is going to go there, and I also like to double check this as well because. Um, there's been times where I don't print everything, and I think I did, and then you find out as you're gluing. Okay, so this is okay. I'm gonna set this aside. Then we have um, the other side of the purse. So we have this, and this, and this, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead, set this aside. And this is the bottom of the purse and this is the liner. Set that aside. And we have, these are the two sides of the purse and we don't have anything for that. Then we have these two and we have these pieces that will go like this. Okay, they don't really go that direction, but that's what they're, that's what they'll do. And set this aside. Okay. And then I did this for the pocket just because I thought it would be cute. Okay, and then the rest I already went over. Okay, so now I'm going to get the gold foil and show you how to do that one. Okay, so here is the gold foil. I'm going to lay it the landscape way. Use the tape and tape the corners. And since this is different material than um, what we just did, we have to go back into Cricut Design Space and cancel the cut, and then we're going to change the cut to a foil board. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, so here we're in Cricut Design Space, and then this is the one, number three, that I wanna cut. I'm gonna hit cancel, cancel cut, then continue. And then I need to browse new material. And this is foil poster board. So this is the one, it just happens to pop up there, that I'm going to use, and it put a check next to it. I'm going to hit done, and I'm gonna change the pressure to more. And all we need here is this is a basic cut, so we're just going to use um, you know, the tool that's already in there, which is the fine point plate. Okay, so this just finished, and this right here came out. Let's see. That one I may have to recut because that kind of actually didn't finish cutting. Okay, so what we have to do is take off the tape again, and this, uh, I'm going to recut two of the um, belts. That one got a little messed up too. Okay, so um, save this. So I'm going to turn this upside down, and this one I'm going to redo. Okay, so we're just going to pick these off. That one, kind of just be careful. That's the zipper. Here's the zipper and the buckle. So we should have eight buckles, and that's four, five. And then these right here, just, you know, they just cut. So you're going to throw those away. Okay, and that is six. Okay, so I need to redo this buckle and, and this buckle. So I have to redo two more. Okay, so um, something that I forgot to mention, this is the pole and this is something that you attach to the zipper. And typically I like to duplicate this. So um, it's gold on both sides, but I forgot to hit duplicate. So and I actually think it's okay if you don't. And then there's this tiny, tiny little piece that we're gonna put at the very end and that's like where the zipper stops. Okay, so we set that aside and then we should have four of these and we have this and this. Okay, so what I need to do is just reprint the, or recut these two. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that without having to uh, do everything all over again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit done, and then I wanna hit, um, go back in here, I'm going to hit, I'm just going to take two, one of these and just change the color to a color that we're not using and hit duplicate. And the reason I'm doing this is because I just need to um, cut two more, and so I only want two on a mat. So if these are a different color, then I'm only going to cut that mat. So here's the mat and I'm just going to cut those two and I'm gonna slide it over just a little bit cause I kind of um, left a little bit of a gap on the gold thing. Okay, so now I'm going to do is just put this in and cut those two. 
Um, and let me just go back and tell you, we just have to hit browse again. And the poster board, then done, then uh, more. And now we're gonna hit the Cricut. It's gonna cut it and then we'll be done with that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just kind of separate these again. So we have everything laid out. So I'm just gonna move those there. And we have the two sides here and that. Okay, so we have this and Okay, so what we're going to start with is this, and let me see um, if the scoring is on that side, and this is on this side. Okay, so what I like to do first is just lay it out so once you glue it, you know exactly where it goes. And this is going to go here, and... Um, that goes there and here and there. Okay, so now we are going to, I have this all set up, we're going to glue this on. Okay, so I'm gonna use the glue stick and then um, just kind of put the light down so I can see the score marks. Okay, so we're gonna glue this on. Okay, and it's right there. Okay, and we do this side. Okay, pull this up. And I'm just putting it in the light so I can see the score marks better. Okay. And put this up here so I can see the score marks. And move this up. So this is situated and that actually can go up a little bit. Okay, so this one is done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so these two flaps are done, so we're going to set those aside. The next thing we're going to do is, I just like to turn this over so I don't get glue everywhere. Okay, so now we're going to use this. The scoring is on this side. We'll grab the other one and the scoring is on that, on this side. Okay, so we are going to do both of these. So let's grab these. And if you'll see here, there these are have rounded edges. The rounded edges go on the outside, like facing outside. Okay, so, and this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is glue this um, in here, on here with um, inside the score marks. This goes right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side. And again, the rounded corner goes on the outside. And then face this down. And then we have the middle. Okay. And so wipe up the rest of the glue. Okay, so now this is done and I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, to the other side of the purse and um, I will go ahead and hit pause so you don't have to watch me do that as well. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so right now we have both of these done and both of these done 
And you will remember we will um, glue this here, um, but we're not gonna do that yet. And we'll just set that aside. Okay, then the next thing that I'm going to do is, um, here is the bottom of the purse. And I am going to fold on the score line. Okay. And we're, we're folding this because this part is going to attach to the purse to connect it. So do there. Okay. And okay. So this is the bottom of the purse. Okay. Now also I'm going to, this is the pocket. I'm going to go ahead and fold the pocket as well. And then here at the bottom, fold up. Okay, so what we'll do is I will go ahead and um, let's go ahead and fold the, put the flaps on. So let's do that first. And there's no really uh, um, one way to do the purse. It's, um, you, you know, I don't, I think you can really do it any way you want in order, as long as it makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so now I'm going to um, apply this on the top. And this is actually, it doesn't matter which way um, this part of the purse is. There exactly the same on both ends so it's not like you have to stick this on a certain end so you just want to line this up okay and then make sure it's stuck okay so it is lined up okay and then um, I'm gonna go ahead grab the next one and then do the exact same thing and I'm going to turn this over and now what I'm going to do is attach um, the pocket so let's go ahead, put a lot of glue, and this may actually need a different glue. We'll see if we can get away with this um, type of glue. Um, this is only because this is a foil and it's a thicker cardstock. But um, let's go ahead and see if we can make it. Let me slide this over here. I just don't want to get glue on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to just place this here in the center. And. Just kind of and this glue actually will not stay purple I'm kind of smearing it it when it dries you don't see it okay so I'm just reinforcing the sides just to make sure it's fixed okay so here these two are the side of the purse so what I'm going to do you can see the score line it looks like an upside down Y I'm going to take a popsicle stick and then the uh, scoring for the line ends right there. So I'm just going to center this here. And then I'm going to um, kind of reinforce that line in the back, the crease. And then I'm going to do the same thing in here for on the score line for the Y. So we're going to do that there. And we're going to do this one here. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to this side. And here's the line part. And the Y at the bottom. And here at this side. Okay, and I'm sorry if it's making a loud noise. I probably hit the microphone. Okay, so now we need to, if you see here, there's a score line here on each side. We are going to fold on that score line. And do that on the other side, on the other uh, side. Okay. And here. Okay, and make sure this one is good. Okay, so now we will grab the, um, the bottom of the purse 
and let's put the liner on. So we're gonna go ahead and glue it. Okay, and I'm gonna place it on the bottom of the purse. Slide it over a little bit. Okay. So this is the bottom of the purse. Okay, so now we will add the sides of the purse. And we will do that by um, that part that you bent in goes on the outside. So we'll fold this over and put some glue right here. And we're going to connect these two so they line up and then fold that down so it attaches. And I like to use the popsicle stick, I think it helps. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it and do the exact same thing to the other side. So this part that's indented goes on the outside of the purse. So you, you know, it looks like how a purse would. Okay, so now we're gonna bend this, apply the glue and line it up and then we're going to attach it. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing to the sides of the purse. And when you do it, you just want to make sure that this part is at the top. So we're going to line it up, fold this over. Let me just kind of get it out of the way so I can apply the glue. Okay, then we'll line this up. So it is even. And one second, my timer is going off. Okay, so then we're going to attach it. And this one might be a little hard to do with the pocket in the way. Okay, then we're gonna flip it around and do the exact same thing. Just remember that this goes on the top. Place this down and add some glue. Align it and just make sure that it's as close as it can be. And you're going to place this down. And I kind of moved it a little bit, so let me line it up better. Okay. And then I like to just reinforce it with a popsicle stick. I think it helps. Okay. So now we have all four sides. And if you look at it, let me move the camera. Okay, so now if you look at it, if you were to pull all of this up, this is what it would look like so far. So what we're going to do is glue one of the sides. Just uh, add the glue, okay? And we're going to bring this up and bring this in and I'm going to flip it around and I am pushing it here and I'm going to reinforce it with a popsicle stick okay and we're going to do the same to here And I noticed with the foil that um, it, you, it, you do get glue marks on it just by working with it. So I will show you how to clean it up at the end so it still looks super cute. So we're gonna line that up, okay? And then we're gonna flip it carefully and do the popsicle stick on the, in the inside here just to line it up. Okay, so that one's done and wipe some of the glue off. Um, I noticed that this glue stick that I have, it's the larger one. I usually use the smaller one. The larger one actually really puts a lot of glue on it. So I noticed that there's a lot of glue. It's good and bad, I guess, but it's fine because it will, you won't see it in the end. We'll attach this, line it up, 
Then we're gonna flip it around really carefully so it doesn't move. And then we're gonna apply uh, pressure in here. And then we just have one more. And it's right here. Okay. And just fold that in and apply. Okay, and just hold it and flip it around so it doesn't move. And just reinforce it with a popsicle stick. Okay, so there we go. We have this so far, super cute. Okay, bring this out, we're gonna need this. Is use the foil buckles. And this part I dread because um, with this being a heavier cardstock, it did not stick very well in the past when I've used um, Elmer's. I've had to use super glue and I always get it all over my fingers. So I really, really don't like this part because um, I, for some reason, super glue loves me and it gets all over my hands. So I may actually try and do it this way and see, since this one is actually thicker, let's see, let's see if we can get it to work. Because I don't like to use the super glue. Let's see, hopefully this will work, you guys. Because I've been doing a lot of purses lately and it's just constant super glue on me. Okay, let's see if I can get this to stay. Can you wipe it off a little bit? Actually, th this may work because um, this really goes on. Okay, actually that worked. I don't add some glue. Okay, and um, we printed eight of these and that is because um, the buckle, I want it to be able to, let me just finish this one. Um, no matter which way you turn the buckle, I want it to, to you guys to see, um, or whoever, I want it to be gold on both sides, okay? And we're gonna do this too. Okay, so now, I'm just wiping the glue off my hands. We need these four pieces, okay? And what we're going to do is take, um, and what I do, and it really doesn't, I don't think it really matters, but pick a side that you're gonna do. Like, um, I, to me, I, I think these look a little bit different. They may actually be the same, I'm not sure. But just be consistent throughout um, if you want to pay attention to detail like that. Um, and then I'm just going to put this in and I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to glue this closed. So um, I'm going to add glue a little bit on the gold as well. Um, and I just like to do that because I like it to stay and not slide as much. Okay, so we have one. Okay, now we're going to repeat three more times and you can actually, if it's easier, you can fold it ahead of time and then you can put it in. You can really do it any way you want. You just want it to end the same result, look the same. Okay, then we're going to close it. Okay. Now we have these four pieces. So we need to glue this onto here. And when you glue it, you want um, it to have the exact gap. You want it to be even going around. So um, let's go ahead, add some glue and we'll attach it. Just want it to be right in the middle and you wipe a little bit of the glue off. Okay, so that one's done. Same for the other three. So now that is done. And what we're going to do is take, let's take the first one. We're gonna take this, apply glue here, and then I'm going to attach this here. And you're going to uh, put it here so it looks like it's just going across. So it looks like it's just one continual cardstock. So let's go ahead and 
apply the glue and line it up. And do the other one. Okay, then we're gonna flip the purse around and do the other side. And I just hope that you guys can see this pretty good. Let's grab the per um, the handles. We're, there should be a score line on here. Just gonna fold it over on each end and fold it over and fold it over. Okay, and let me just make sure that you can see this. Um, what I do is you just take this and you just kind of bend this over like I'm sorry let me start all over it's like this and you bend it over so both of these are face inward so you can um, put these in here and then glue it so let me just hold it like this and I'm going to glue the bottoms just like this and then I'm going to put this one here and hold the glue and then this one here. Okay, so I will go ahead and put this down and I'm going to reinforce it with the popsicle stick. So just kind of rub where, you know, to close it. Same here. Okay, perfect. So that's what that looks like. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on um, this side. So let me add the glue. And um, this is really messy. Add the glue, okay. So you're taking this and you're just pushing it down. So both of this goes, you know, that way. I'm gonna fold it, fold it, and then I'm gonna place it down and just make sure it's aligned properly and then just reinforce it with the popsicle stick on both sides. Okay, so this is done. And remember the glue will dry clear and you won't see it, so. So that part is done. Let me fold this in half. I just don't wanna get glue everywhere. We have the zipper and we have um, uh, this part that goes here. So what I'm going to do, actually I, that was backwards, I'm going to glue this onto here, the zipper onto the white part. And let's see. Okay, and we'll attach it right in the center, place it right in the center, okay. And it's not perfect, but I think it's perfect. We'll wipe a little of the glue off, okay. And I hope that this part will stick, the um, pull, and then you find the little piece, actually it's right here. Let me put a little glue on, this is the end of the zipper. Is that on? Okay, this goes at the end and just kind of position it a little bit with the popsicle stick, okay. And then we're going to do the pull. And typically I have two pulls and I glue them back to back, but I am not today. We're going to place this here and let's um, just use the popsicle stick and just give it pressure and hope that it sticks because with it being a foil, Sometimes you, yeah, some, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna stick. Sometimes you have to uh, use super glue. Let me try it a little bit. Let me do it again. Okay. Let's see. I don't know why I put glue down there the first time. So let's just hold it and hope it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll, get the super glue out. Okay, 
So now um, we will turn this over. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to do that because I want it to try a little bit better, but let's go ahead and glue that. And then we're gonna center it inside this gold. Okay. Okay, so now I want to add glue to the back of this and then we will attach it to the purse and we'll place it like right here. I'm sorry, I'm blocking you. Okay, so go like right there. Okay, so what I did is, because it didn't record, um, I did this in vinyl and then I just applied it to that white piece and then I glued this to the gold. So what we're gonna do now is glue this to the purse and then we are done with the purse. Let's go ahead and put it a little bit here like this. Okay, and then I wanted to show you because I told you that if you get any glue, you can use like lens wipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and show you. So this is like an alcohol wipe. So what you can do is just kind of softly rub over here on any part that has like a little glue. Like you can see like a little glue there. You know, like a glue smear. Just gently rub over it. And I guess that's the thing with this being foil. You, you know, can see everything. Let's see. So that looks, let's see, there's a little bit here. And the thing with this is it dries, this dries really fast. So let's do the other side. And so we are done. What do you think? And this is the mini one. Turn it around. And then remember we did the pocket to match inside. If you can see that and then the liner. And what do you guys think? Um, comment below and let me know and if you don't already subscribe and you think you might like my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button thanks guys see you in the next video bye